Hey everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and mute you all. And wait for more people to pop on. Hopefully you guys are all having a good week. Okay, you're going to give just a little bit longer. Okay, two more minutes and we're getting started. Ada, you look so pretty with your makeup on. Lipstick, just so you look put together. Look so pretty. Let me mute everybody again. A couple of people are still coming in. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So um, today is the second to last meeting of this current session. It would normally be the last meeting, but I always extend it a week, I feel like, because I have to get the next group ready for the next session. So I feel like you guys are getting nine weeks anyway, um, which you're welcome. Um, so a couple of housekeeping things. First thing is step challenge is over this next just kidding it's over on the nine the 12th so keep posting your steps through the 12th on the 12th i will be asking for your total steps i'm not going to sit in total everybody's steps for the last eight weeks so hopefully you guys thought to keep a spreadsheet or can see it on your iWatch or something because i need the total um the May Fitness Challenge, I am behind. I've not posted a calendar yet. I can't find one I like. I feel like they're very repetitive, but I will post one. I'll look tonight again. I looked yesterday and it could have been just because I was exhausted. I did not see one I wanted to use, um, but I try to keep it all you know, at home. So um, I'm, I will post something for those that are very good at keeping on it, like Gen C and Andrea. You guys are all good at sticking with it. So I will find one. 
Um, the new session payment will be due no later than May 10th. So if you are staying on and you have not paid already, if you've already paid, you're good. Um, you don't have to message me and say, I paid, am I good? You're good. If you paid, you're good. You know you paid. Um, but if you have not paid, it is due by May 10th. This way it gives me five days to work on your program if I need to make changes. Um, and I also have to work on the back end back office to make your new program go into effect. Um, the new session is going to have a couple of flexibility and mobility programs in there uh, so that you guys can start stretching and doing mobility, which is super, super important. And I'm switching out workouts. So you're not going to see a bunch of workouts. If there's something that you have to have that is under the workout programs, please let me know. I'm keeping the 22, 44, 66, the core stuff, but I'm going to be switching out the actual gym workout. So if there's something that you want me to keep in there, let me know, but I'm refreshing it and putting all new workouts. I'm starting to build them. It just takes me a long time to build it in the app. So I'm trying to do one um, every so often and then not actually making it live until they're all ready to go. Um, I just had a thought in my head. So we did the step challenge, made fitness challenge, new session. Oh, my sister. So my sister lives in New York. You guys all know her via the app and the, the lives and stuff. And she's coming down. I know this is very far away. It's very far away. It's August. She's coming down in August because it's my 50th birthday month. And she's going to come down and hang out. Um, so I was thinking it would be really cool if we can do a Shred Tribe dinner. Like everybody meet up and do a Shred Tribe dinner. Yes, we can celebrate my birthday. But it's also for everybody to get to meet each other because we haven't. And two years ago, I did a Shred Tribe retreat and we all went up to Orlando and I rented a retreat house and it was so much fun. But I just don't think like last year I tried to do and I couldn't get enough people. So if I can get enough people, I would be more than happy to do another Shred Tribe weekend retreat. Um, but it would have to be the week. The, you know, the time, zone, time frame that my sister's here, but I would love to do it. It was super fun. It was in Orlando. We rented a big mansion house and it was like $300 a person total food, stay, everything. And we have a Shred Tribe member who he's on the back scene. You don't see him ever. He's actually a chef and he came to the last retreat and cooked every meal. It was amazing. And we worked out every day and we stretched and we just hung out. It was fun. We didn't even leave the house the whole weekend. Originally, we were like, oh, we're going to go to Orlando. We're in Orlando. We're going to go to Universal and go get dinner. Nobody wanted to leave. We all just hung out and talked and tracked food all day and night. And it was just fun. We worked. I, I put you guys through workouts and yoga workouts and stretches. And I had a massage therapist come and give massages. Super, super fun. So I'll put it out there if anybody's interested in hearing more about a retreat We'll do that. But the plan B, well, plan A is the dinner. Plan B will be the retreat or whatever. Um, so I'd love to do that because my sister is very active in the group, but nobody really knows her. So it'd be cool for her to get to meet everybody. And if you, anybody doesn't live here and comes here, it'd be cool too. Um, no pressure, Bonnie. Just kidding. <laughs> totally joking. I think Nassim had talked about coming down. Uh, maybe, uh, so I'll reach out to her too, but, um, okay. So that's that. Um, I think I got all housekeeping out of the way. So someone, uh, messaged me about how can she stay motivated? Um, she's been in the shred tribe a while. She left, uh, came back because she gained a little bit of weight and she dropped all the weight really quick when she came back, which she's, that made her super focused, super motivated. Um, and it's amazing that she did that because she stuck right exactly where she stopped and went right back into it, which is the best part about macros. Um, but she messaged me and said, how do you stay focused? How do you stay motivated? You've been doing this for 13, 14, 15 years. And that's how long I've actually been doing it, counting my macros, tracking my macros. For me, it's a little different. And I try to explain that to you guys. It's my job. You know, if I showed up to teach a class or train a client, and I gain weight, people know. Um, so I, you can't really use me of how I can stay motivated. My motivation is you guys, 100%. Um, and I like to wear clothes. You know, I like to be dressed up and I like to have fun things to wear. And um, on that note, really quick, side tangent, sorry, squirrel. Um, I buy a lot of clothes every month. I am a clothes whore. I mean, you can ask my sister. She came and helped me try to figure out my closet. Um, so Shein probably delivers to my house every day. Um, so I probably get 20 to 30 items every month and I won't wear them twice. 
And the reason why I won't wear them twice is because I take pictures of myself so much and it's always on social media. So if you wear a size four or six and you want clothes and you see me wear it, the first person that messages me and says, I want that outfit, it's yours. Now, if you don't live here, I'm gonna have to charge you for shipping because I'm giving you the outfit. But if you live here, I'll meet you somewhere. You can pick it up from me and it's free. My gift to you, paying it forward. And if we're gonna be 100% honest, it makes me feel not so bad buying so much clothes that I'm paying it forward and donating it and giving it to other people. Um, so every weekend I post what I'm wearing, every weekend. And every weekend it's something from Shein. If you want it, you got to message me and it's yours. I already had two things called for for last weekend. So it, it's going to be fun too. I think it'll be fun. So um, back to staying motivated. That's part of my motivation too. Uh, we go out a lot. So my motivation when I'm out to not eat is I want to keep going out. I want to feel good about myself. And um, that's my motivation. However, everybody's weight loss journey is totally different. We have different reasons why we're doing what we're doing. We have different whys, which you guys were all posted in your, um, in the app. Um, and finding motivation could be challenging sometimes. Raise your hand if you've had a challenge being motivated, right? You look at the scale, maybe it didn't move for two weeks and that's kind of demotivating um, where we have to remember it's not always about the scale or you're you're demo you're not motivated because you're not feeling well or you know you had a really long freaking week and you know school's almost over and if you're a teacher the kids are driving you insane it, like Danae always says and you know you just don't can't find the motivation to want to track to want to be healthy because you just want comfort you want to feel good so we all have different reasons why we we're not feeling motivated um so you're not always going to be bursting with enthusiasm and optimism and ready to rock and roll, but that's okay. You can feel like that. You can feel not motivated every so often. Nothing is going to change. You still should do what you're doing, but eventually you're gonna get out of that funk. And I'm gonna give you guys some ideas of what you can do to get out of the funk. Um, there's so many things that are out of our control and circumstances that we have no control over and so many variables in our lives that could put us in a funk and make us unmotivated but you have control over this. This part of your life is the one thing you guys have control over, what you put in your mouth. Whether you make the right decision of what you're putting in your mouth, that's where your willpower and your motivation comes in. But that's where you have to remind yourself, if there's anything I have control over, it's this right here, right? Everybody agrees with that, right? Um. So sometimes we feel like it's momentum. You know, you're in, a, you're in it, you're doing it, you're doing it, you're doing it. The weight's coming off and that's giving you motivation. And you're seeing the changes and your clothes feel better. But all of a sudden you are like five pounds away from your goal weight. And it takes a long time to get those last five pounds off. It could take a year because you're not really taking pounds off anymore. Now you're building muscle, you're leaning out, um, you probably are retaining water. So it's going to take a lot longer to get those last couple of percentages off um, and you no longer have that momentum. So first thing is I want everybody, and we've done this before, the first number one thing to help you with motivation is why you want to lose weight or make a transformation. Doesn't have to be weight loss. There's people in here that you don't see right now, or you might see right now that don't want to lose weight. They want to build a ton of muscle. I have two people that um, are in the app that you guys don't see that are going for a, um, a, a bodybuilding competition, a show that I'm training and getting them ready for. So their goal is totally different than I want to lose 10 pounds, 15 pounds, 50 pounds. Their goal is I want to put on three pounds of muscle, but I want everybody to write down right now, one reason why you're doing what you're doing. Why are you in the shred tribe? I'm going to give you guys a second. When your weight loss goal, keep writing. When your weight loss goal comes from inside, you're more likely to make it last longer, make it a lasting change, make it a lifestyle change. If it's your mom saying, oh, I saw Sarah's doing blah, blah, blah. You should do this. And you're like, all right, fine. I'm going to do it. 
Or like I said, I hear people say to me all the time, you know, I told my mom about your program, but she just doesn't want to do it. I'm trying to convince her. If she doesn't want to do it, she's not going to be motivated to do it. And it's not, if she does it, it's not going to be long-term. Her why is to make you happy. That's not long-term. That's not here. So what is your why? Everybody's writing it down, right? Maybe your why is you want to reverse your pre-diabetes, your pre-diabetic, and you want to fight that. Um, maybe it's um, you want to feel more comfortable in your clothes. Whatever it is, it's you and you have to own that. And every single person on this meeting, even if you've already done it, you're going to put it in that group, my why tonight. As soon as we get done with this, you're going to put it in there. I'm going to put mine in there as well. Um, the best part about macros and being in this program is people don't like to be told what to do, what to eat, what time to eat, right? So you decide and you want to do this and your why is under your terms. Um, we want to make our own decisions. We want to be in the driver's seat. And that is the number one motivation that you have control over your why and doing this. Set realistic weight loss goals. So I talk about this all the time. The reason why I do the 10 pounds, um, the reason why people message me and they're like, well, I want to lose, you know, can, is it possible I'm getting married in three weeks? Can I lose 10 pounds? It's possible, but is it going to last? Like all that Ozempic and Optavia and I can't think of anything else. Semi-glutide, all that crap. Yeah, you're going to lose weight like that. But the minute you go off of it, you're going to gain it right back. So one of the reasons why we know that we take things slow is because the slower it comes off, the longer it stays off. And Make a realistic goal. That's why I do the 10 pound increments. I mean, eventually, yeah. I mean, at one time I did say to myself, I want to lose a hundred pounds and I did, but I didn't say it's March. And by December, I want to lose a hundred pounds. You know, I wasn't even a nutrition coach when I was doing it. I was a normal person. Like I was struggling every single day. I struggle every day now. Um, but I set realistic weight, weight loss goals. And you guys already all did that. And once you hit that goal, I drop it again. And you'll keep seeing it go down in the app. I get a notification, you hit your goal. Or not you hit your goal, Bonnie hit her goal. So Bonnie, you should see that you have a new weight loss goal in the app. You do, I added it. Um, that's why I sent you a message and I'm like, what's your goal? Make sure it's the same as what it said when your consultation form. Because Bonnie's really close to her goal weight, like really close, I think, in my eyes. She probably doesn't see that, but she really is. Um, you don't do, or do you realize it? No, no. And what usually what happens is you guys will tell me, oh, I want, my goal is 145 and you guys will be at like 149 and I'll message you and say, oh, you're four pounds away from your goal. Oh no, I think I want to go to 140. And then I'm like, no, you can't do that, but you can do that because it's all about how you feel. Um, I've also had people do it the other way. I'm like, I'm going to drop you another 10 pounds. They're like, no, I think I'm good. I just want to lose like another two to three which is great because you know your own body and not everybody wants to be super lean where you see all everything. I I like that, but not everybody likes that. A lot of people like to have a little bit of cushion, right? Um, and believe me, I have cushion. I'm not saying I don't have cushion. Um, so you start with that scale back goal, which we all did, and then we just chip away at it. And that's going to help you stay motivated. If we put 30 pounds in the first eight weeks, you only lost seven, you're gonna be like, holy frick, this is so unmotivating. But if we put, I think I bit my ring. But if we put 10 pounds and you lost seven, look what I did to my ring. Can you guys see that? It's not a circle anymore. That's not good. I don't wanna pop out a diamond. Ah. Okay, um, I don't know how I did that. Um, so if we put seven and you, you put 10 and you lost seven, that's way more motivating. So that's where you want to come with a really realistic goal. Okay. Remember that your weight loss is a journey. It is not a destination. I talk about this a lot. It's not what's going to happen when you lose that hundred pounds. It's how you're going to feel along the way. 
all the different changes in your body, you have different changes in your personality. Um, I hate to use this as an example, but I've seen it all the time. People grow out of their relationships because their habits change, their hobbies change. Um, and along the way, it's, it's a journey, life changes. It's not the destination. It's what happens along the way. So um, never look a year in advance. We don't do that with anything. You know, we maybe have a trip when we start putting money away for a trip, but think about what's happening here and now and what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, I always say don't look back. So not what happened yesterday because today is a new day and tomorrow is an even better day. Um, weight loss is much more than just hitting that goal weight. It's every single milestone that you hit, that amazing feeling you get when you hit that milestone. That amazing feeling, Eni's not on here right now, but um, Eni is still in the Shard Tribe. She just does yoga, I think, on Wednesday nights. But she pretty much hit her goal weight and then decided that she wasn't going to track that much anymore and stayed in the app, but was like here and there. And she realized that really what was rewarding to her and that helped her on her journey was the little things hitting her macros. Zero, zero, zero is her thing. And for like the past three days, she's done it. And every single time she's messaged me and guess what? She is so remotivated to that motivated her, her little things along her way to stay focused and committed. I have to take my sweat off. I'm dying. Um, okay. So we already do this. Choose a sustainable approach. You know, all the other fad diets, they don't work. What you're doing works. It may feel like snail pace, but it works. And at the end of, let's say, eight weeks and you've lost six to eight pounds, you're going to feel amazing. When your fit, clothes fit better, you're going to feel amazing. Now, I want to back up real quick. A lot of us have dieted our entire lives. We've been on calorie deficits. We've tried gimmicks. We've tried everything, you know, things that work, things that don't work, things that work momentarily. You know what that does to your body? It fucks it up. It puts you in the worst metabolic condition that it's hard for your body to regenerate and start working properly again. And we've been starving ourselves for so long, and you might not realize it, that when I start giving you guys so much food, your body doesn't know what to do with it. So you don't really lose the weight right away. That could take four to six weeks to correct. So if you're not seeing the scale move as fast as you would like, or you've only lost two to three pounds, that's okay. Your body is adjusting and you're going to start to see it happen. For people that have never been on a diet or weight loss, I'm going to use my sister as an example. She never did that. She never was like, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to, she never did that. Her metabolism was messed up because of poor eating and not dieting and stuff, but it was a lot easier for her. And I'm not taking any credit away from my sister, but Doing it the first time, getting on a diet the first time ever in your life, you are shocking your system. And now your metabolism is working great because you're doing it the right way. Now, for people like myself and probably 90% of you, we've all tried everything. And here we are. Yeah, me too. Um, I've probably been at every weight loss center here. Like if I walked in, I was like, no, there's Shannon. I've tried it all. Um, my mom put us in that position. My mom did the Cambridge diet, the LA weight loss diet. Like I remember it all the time. I talk about this all the time. Um, and now I'm trying to, I lost my train of thought. Oh, our metabolism. So we all messed up our metabolism. So this program fixes, corrects all that metabolic damage. Um, so you might not see the changes right away, but they will catch up. I promise you they will catch up. Um, okay. Okay. Set a goal outside of weight loss. Outside of weight loss. I want to run a 5K. I want to play, I want to play bowling. I want to bowl better. I want to learn how to golf. I want to be able to do this with my children. I want to be able to do this with my significant other. It could be anything. Um, I think I have stuff written down here. Oh, wrong sheet. I moved on my notes. 
Okay. So picking out something that is other than weight loss are things that you can celebrate as well. Um, I don't, you, you don't want to use clothing as an example because that goes with weight loss. So let me just let her in. So think of something that doesn't have to do with that. You don't have to share it with me unless you want to. Um, maybe you want to get more sleep. Maybe you want to lower your blood pressure. Maybe your A1C is high and they want to put you on metformin and you don't want to do that. So you're going to manage it by doing a new food program, learning how to eat properly, um, taking up a new physical activity. Maybe there's something you don't do and you want to do it and that could be a goal. I want to be able to walk around my block four times. I want to be able to walk them down my stairs, stairs without huffing and puffing. Those are all not weight loss goals, and those are all great. Um, I would love for you guys to share it with me, but you don't have to. Um, a way to stay motivated is to be in these freaking meetings. The person that is not motivated right now or is having struggle with motivation, she's not on here. I don't know who watches the meetings afterwards. I only see the amount of views. So I don't know who actually does. It just says this has been viewed 177 times, whatever. Um, when I used to put it in the app, and you guys can watch it through the app, I was able to tell who can read it. But then it was getting, I was using too much bandwidth in the app and people could, weren't able to watch the meetings anymore, which is why I switched it over to YouTube. This was years ago. Um, but joining a community of like-minded people help you stay focused and motivated. Raise your hand if you're on this meeting pretty much every week and without it, you don't think you could stay focused or motivated. I know Andrea is about to raise her hand because she's on here every week too. She's just in the middle of doing something. I feel like she's with people doing something. Are you at a sports game or something? Okay. You can tell because you're in like a sports chair, like a, a like you're at a field. Yes. Okay. I feel like I'm like a, 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 a like telepathic. Yes. Are you at a sports field? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you are in a field somewhere. Okay, um, moving on. I crack myself up. I really do. Um, what can help you stay motivated, of course, is tracking your food. Seeing that you are hitting your numbers, knowing that you are hitting your numbers will help you stay focused and motivated. Um, I do it every single day and I've done it every single day, minus a couple of days here or there and you'll see my weight go up. 13 years. And the minute I go up and this, I have a five pound rule. The minute I go up five pounds, if I stop tracking, I go right back to tracking and I take it right back off. That's also a maintenance rule. When you go on maintenance, you get five pounds leeway. The minute you hit five pounds, you're back in the program. Um, practice self-compassion. That will be a great way to motivate you. Hi, Bob. Welcome home. Um, we are all human. We all mess up. We are all not going to be perfect. Don't let that demotivate you. Don't say, you know what? I totally effed up on Saturday. So I'm not even going to worry about it today. Message me, get in the app, get some support, get encouragement. That's why we are here. Go in the memes and motivation group and say, Hey, now I don't want it to be a therapy session. So I, let me back up. Cause that's what will happen. Danae will post in there, I had a crappy day. Oh, I did too. And what are we going to do? And, blah, 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 blah. and I can't delete your comments. And I'm going to be like, stop, stop, stop. because I don't want you guys to use that as that thing. But if you message and say, Hey, what are you guys doing today to stay focused and motivated? Right. It's, it's, a, it's an everyone thing. It's not a me thing. This is a group of people. Um, I think at one point someone did do that in the group and it was just like a whole, thing so we just try to stay, we'll try to stay away from that because i don't have access to stop you guys or delete anything in the app i wish i did but i don't um prepare yourself for setbacks shit happens fall off the wagon get right back on vacations are not setbacks vacations are rewards enjoy them and when you get back on you from your vacation you get right back on track i've had so many people say I don't know what I'm going to do when I'm on vacation. I want to eat everything and I don't want to exercise. And then they come back and they're like, I don't know what the hell happened to me, but I exercised every day. I made sure I got my steps and I really didn't really eat bad because you've changed your mindset. You've made new habits. You're not the same person that went on that vacation last year. 
And it's amazing how that changes. Raise your hand if you've been in the Shred Tribe and that's happened to you. You're like, I'm going to have the best vacation. And then you go and you're like, I, I had the best vacation, but I didn't need to overindulge because you changed your habits. Yeah, Bonnie, I know you did. You went on that cruise and you did awesome. And Christine is raising her hand, even though she's not on here. And my sister, she's not raising her hand, but I know she does. Because when she comes down to visit me, she would never even think to go to the gym. And every day she's like, can we work out together? And she was driving my mom crazy about her macros. We can't eat that. Why are we ordering that? You told me we were eating this. Now I have to change this. So I know like everybody's habits change and that's okay, but enjoy it also. Um, learn to love the body you're in. The here and now, even though you want it to change, it will, but you have to love yourself now to allow yourself to change. We look in the mirror every single day. Then I usually do this in one of our meetings, but I didn't do it. The meetings got away from me this year, this session. Positive affirmations. Everybody should give themselves a positive affirmation every morning. Um, because if you love yourself, you'll be more motivated to better yourself. So what everybody also to think of one positive affirmation, and we're going to put that in the memes and motivation group. It doesn't have to be tonight. You guys don't have to uh, all do it at one time, but throughout the week, just put something positive that would work for you every single day. Um, I used to have one on my phone, like when I would open my phone, my wallpaper. I don't have it on there anymore. I used to do post-it notes all over of positive affirmations. They used they drove my crazy and my cleaning people would kept dropping them. So I don't have them all over anymore. But positive, I have positive affirmation books everywhere because they're great for your soul. Um, so as you start progressing, appreciate your body every step of the way, along the way, and that will help you stay focused and motivated. Um, I want to, I have seven minutes and I want to go over, does anybody here get my shredders in email? Um, I send out, I don't, my assistant sends out an email. Um, it's usually two or three times a month. If you're not on it, if you just subscribe to like the re the recipe group or the, um, or the rest to get the recipe. And I think I did want to subscribe to my newsletter today. I sent out, um, something about motivation to exercise. Is anybody getting those? Stacey, you are. So that tells me if you're not, you didn't ever ask for my recipe book, but that's okay. Um, I'll put it in the group and you guys can all subscribe to it and then you'll get it. So every Two weeks, I send out an email. It's called the Shredder. Get it? Shred Tribe? The Shredder. Um, and it usually has a fitness tip. It has something fitness and something nutrition. So today it was about motivation to start exercise. Everybody here exercises, but I'm going to read these off just in case you lose that motivation or you have somebody you want to help motivate. Um, exercise with a friend. If you need that motivation to exercise with someone, I prefer to work out by myself because I always end up training the person I work out with. So I like to work out by myself. So it's about me. Um, but a lot of people need that buddy system. Uh, keep it brisk, which means when we start walking together, we are walking. We're not walking. Um, so keep that in mind. And that will help you guys stay encouraged, engaged, and motivated and accountable. These walks are going to be the best thing that ever happened to Shred Tribe that I'm bringing them back because you guys are going to have so much fun. And I talk the entire time. Um, move your feet before you eat. So before you sit down to dinner, before you go out for breakfast, before you go out for lunch, say, I'm just going to take a quick walk. It'll help you get your steps in. It increases your happy hormones, your endorphins, and it actually makes you less hungry, believe it or not. Um, if you don't have a pedometer to count your steps, you guys should have one. If you don't, you don't have to wear a wearable, but they sell pedometers for $10 on Amazon. You stick them on your belt loop, and as you walk your feet, move, you know, it counts your steps. Um, turn off your TV, your computer, and your smartphone. Get moving. So if you find yourself sitting in front of the TV, start doing squats, get into a plank position. This drives Mike insane. I do this all the time. Like if it's a Sunday and we're watching a movie and he's like, you want to watch another one? I'm like, no, not really. So I'll pretend I want to go up to the treadmill and then he'll get annoyed. So then I'll come back down. I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to do walking lunges and whatever else. So just to get moving and stay motivated for the day. Um, 
and it does work. Sign up for a class. If you haven't taken a class ever, sign up for classes. They're fun. Um, if you go to Retro Fitness, you can take mine. If you go to Orange Theory, you can take mine, but those aren't ones that I create. Um, but you can get class pass. I don't get anything from class pass, but you can go to class pass and try different classes all over. I do that, except lately it sucks because everything's waitlisted. Um, plan the exercise into your day and reward yourself. I don't mean with food. Rewarding yourself with food is totally contraindicating or contra whatever it's called, what we were trying to accomplish here. Um, reward yourself with a new book. Reward yourself with um, a new audio book. Um, reward yourself with new workout clothes. Reward yourself with one of Shannon Sheehan outfits. Maybe that's a goal. You want to get to a four six. You can wear get, get free clothes. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's the meeting. Um, I am done. Remember, you guys have homework, the why, and then we could see who wasn't in the meeting that actually watches the meeting. Because if they don't, if they put it in the why, and you didn't see them here, then we know that they watched the meeting after the fact. Um, I know a lot of people did last time because I talked about the buy two get one half off May promotion. And a lot of people weren't in the meeting last week, but a lot of people messaged me. So I don't know if people told the other people, like telephone, like you told everybody, don't forget, or they actually watched it after the fact. So um, I probably should save all fun announcements till the end of the meeting to see if people stay on, like how teachers do that at the end of a test. If you went through this entire test, all right, do you remember those? If you read the instructions, you don't have to take this test. You have a hundred, but you didn't read the instructions. So you did the whole freaking test and you're like, damn it. Um, I've done that. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. Have an amazing Wednesday. We got one more meeting for this group. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to start the walking this Monday or the following Monday. I can't remember if I have to cover somebody's class or not, but I will let you guys know ahead of time. Um, this Monday for sure is the workout. The workouts now will be on Mondays, not Tuesdays, because I'm back at Orange Theory on Tuesday nights. So um, every Monday, the meeting will be at 7 o'clock. Uh, the workout will be at 7 p.m. So hopefully more people can come. I've been getting messages that it'll be better for people. The meeting will, I mean, the walking will be right before. So we walk 6.15 to 6.45 and then the, the workout's at seven. That's how we did it during the summer and that's how we're going to do it um, now. Okay. Um, I hope you guys all have an amazing night. Remember, always be badass. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me. And if you refer anybody or did refer anybody, please let me know because I owe you $10. And I don't remember and I don't keep track. So you guys have to remember, remind me. All right, bye everyone. Have a great night and look forward to seeing you next week. Remember, always be badass.